Hello. In this video, we will solve a little bit about the input validation. We already did something similar before, but let's actually study the retail py file or the example 74 from your book and see what they do with the input validation. Okay. So they start creating a, a global constant. We know that the naming convention for constants in all up uppercase. So the markup is the percentage that a specific um, item is going to be charged extra. Let's say it's an item cost um, $10, you will charge 25 This is actually a really big march, right? <laughs> but well, it's how the example actually have it. So how can I, how they did that? Well, they define the main function and they create the another variable as yes. It is going to be for control the loop. So they put it like a lowercase j in there. And then they do the actual loop to process how many items are going to be calculated to get uh, the retail price. So if you want to check an item, it will execute it. Because we are initializing the variables with y, this is going to be true, so this section is going to be executed. Check that they did an input validation to when y is lowercase and uppercase. These are really big um, important to see. They have an accountable if they do it lowercase or uppercase, so we need to see that. So if this is equal, or this is equal, remember, it with two equals in there. Let me just remove my ligature, sorry for that. And there you go. To make, to make the calculate to make the comparison is called double equal sign. So if this is equal, it proceed. Execute the show retail function and then after executed it's ask again. And it's a put Y for yes. And it save it to another. So whenever you still putting Y in there this is going to be executed. Now let's see, let's go to the mid, the show retail function. That is actually the final down here. The show retail create a variable called wall cell that is taking an input and convert it to float. Then it make another validation. So we have a validation here for when you want to continue to the loop and we have validation for the number that you actually put there. So if the number is less than zero, you say, hey, there is an error. You, the number cannot be negative. And it asks you again to have the wall cell in there. So meanwhile, wall cell is less than zero. This minor loops is going to be executed. Remember, inside this other bigger loop that we have in the main function. When you put a valid number, that is a number greater than zero, it will calculate the retail, that is the wholesale plus the markup. Remember that markup we have on the top. And then print the retail price and then format with two decimals the specific retail. This is just to format the number. Then actually just create the execute the match function. Let's see it how it runs. So let's say that the wholesale is 5, to give us the retail going to be 12.5. If I put y lowercase, it continue. If I do phi again, it works. If I do y uppercase, it continue. It's, it's, it's working. But what about if I put minus 1, given an error? So minus 10 is given an error, and I still continue until I put something valid. And that's it. So we saw, hope to make a validation between the numbers. Hope we see that that number is should be greater than zero, and a validation for a character that need to be a specific value in order for this to work. 